Oh, hey, music nerds. So with quarantine in full effect right now, what are we doing? We are live streaming, content creating, and we are Zooming. Everybody is Zooming right now. Everybody is Skyping and video chatting. Yeah, this is just the new way of the world. For musicians, I know that this means you want to get the best sound as possible. That's what we want. We want to sound good. A lot of people are now hosting Zoom parties and putting on Zoom shows. I have spent hours trying to come up with the best way to use your DAW sound through platforms like Zoom and Skype. All the videos that I watched, they were very helpful in leading me to my final conclusion, but um, I was having trouble finding a video that outlined it in this exact way that actually worked for me. One thing I wanna say before we start, <sighs> for some reason, Zoom is way more reliable and consistent with something like this than Skype. This way consistently works with both Skype and with Zoom, um, and it allows you to sing, play keys, play guitar, and actually play tracks um, from your computer. It doesn't even have to be in the DAW. Into Skype and into Zoom to put on, you know, a really good sounding show. I'm also using Mac OS Catalina right now and Logic Pro X. First thing that you're gonna wanna install is this plugin called Black Hole. This works pretty much the same way as a plugin called Soundflower, which you might've heard of. Um, it's just a little bit newer and I find that it works better with Mac OS Catalina. I was finding that Soundflower wasn't consistently working with Skype. So Black Hole, um, I believe is better for these purposes. So you're just gonna go down here. We're on GitHub, by the way. And we're gonna download the installer. Then it's gonna ask for your email and your first and last name, and it's just gonna send you a download file. Uh, so once you get that in your email, go ahead and download it. The download is gonna, the installer rather, is gonna look like this. So just follow the prompts. And when you're done with that, it's going to, I believe, ask you to restart your computer. Either way, I recommend restarting your computer, whether it recommends it or not. Um, so then, once you're back, we're going to go into audio MIDI setup. You can find that on the launch pad. Looks like this. All right, so now we're gonna try and combine all of our channels into one since both Zoom and Skype only have one input channel and we're trying to combine you know, our vocals plus instruments plus tracks, whatever we need. So <clears throat> the first thing we're gonna wanna do is create an aggregate device. It's gonna look like this. I rename mine Black Hole Aggregate. Uh, you, can re you can name yours anything you want. And I selected Audio Box USB, which is my interface. It's a two channel interface and I'm using it with my mic right now. Black Hole 16 channel, which is what we just downloaded. You can see it over here. And I also like to combine built-in output. So just take note over here, you could see that since my interface is two channels, it is occupying those first two channels um, in the aggregate device and then black hole 16 channel is taking up inputs one through 18. So we're gonna need that later. And then the second thing we're gonna do is create a multi output device, <clears throat> which is kind of like an aggregate device. And we're gonna select your interface or microphone, whatever you're using and your black hole 16 channel. Coolio, yeah. so we just did that. Um, and now we're gonna go into our DAW. First thing we're gonna do is go to preferences, audio, and we're gonna wanna make sure that the input and output device that we're using in the software is black hole aggregate, that new aggregate device that you just made. So let's go over and create a new track create an audio track for your microphone. So I'm just actually using my default settings. It's input one and two, output one and two, and then you can see black hole aggregate is used. So this is the new audio track that we just made. So I'm gonna call this microphone. <clears throat> you could ignore that top one. That's just feeding the sound uh, for the purposes of this video. And I'm just gonna make this uh, mono input because it came in as stereo. Um, 
Cool. So then the next thing that we want to do is we're going to create a bus send to that black hole aggregate device that we made. Um, so this is going to really combine all the channels and make sure we could feed it through Zoom and Skype. So we're going to go into send right here, output, stereo. And then remember how I said that if you go back into audio devices, aggregate device, you could see that my interface is taking up one and two, and then black hole is taking up the rest. So we already have things through our interface right now. We're just creating a bus send so that it processes through the black hole. So we can really choose any of these channels, but I'm gonna choose three and four for these purposes. So go into send, stereo, <clears throat> three and four. And then turn that up, okay? Then let's say you wanna play keys or something too. I'm gonna use MIDI, oops. So let's go to new track, software instrument. These are my default settings. <clears throat> All right, so now classic electric piano. You're gonna go over here where the bus sends are. Output, same thing, output three and four. Turn that baby all the way up. And now you should be able to hear it. Cool, so now you can see that I could sing and play at the same time. Now, the question of the day, is this going to work in Skype and Zoom? Let's find out. So let's go to Zoom first. I'm gonna go to Preferences. And select Black Hole 16 Channel as that microphone input. And there you go, you can see that I'm talking through it and you can hear it, getting signal. And we're getting signal from my keys, so perfect. Um, I just have my speaker set as my interface output. Um, and the ringer, this is an old one, but you know, you could do black hole for that too. But the microphone is really what we're worried about. So now let's go into Skype and see if it works there. And it does. So this is black hole 16 channel and you can see we're getting a signal from both. Now, if you want to play or sing to tracks, you could certainly put your tracks in the DAW and it would pick it up there if you just route it the same way. But, you know, it's actually way easier than that. You could actually just play tracks directly from your computer. This is my original band. We were doing a quarantine uh, tiny desk submission video. So um, this is the audio from that that we recorded from our own homes and if we go into zoom well this is skype you guys can hear it there and over here so oh yeah so one thing i almost forgot to mention is um one of the reasons that you would want to put your audio through your DAW is to add effects, you know, and make it sound like studio quality. So um, if I put up reverb right here, you should be able to hear that, right? So this is cool. Like we can literally just make it sound as close to studio quality as possible through our DAW. So anyway, you guys, I really hope this helps. Like I said, I've spent hours on the internet. I am not a super techie person and this is the way that works the best for me. But if you guys have another way that works for you, just leave it in the comments. Let's try and like spread the knowledge and help each other out because that's what it's all about. Bye guys, happy streaming.